So, Michael Lewis's book, Moneyball, which we've read in this course and which was made into a movie recently, takes the approach that baseball can be, that teams can succeed in baseball by taking a more scientific approach and not necessarily doing things the way baseball teams have always done them. And so part of the approach there is that uh, the Oakland A's valued on-base percentage, how often a player gets on base, not just batting average, but how often a player gets on base, his, his plate discipline, the willingness not to swing at pitches out of the strike zone, how often he gets on base, and also OPS, which is a relatively new stat, which basically results in adding on-base percentage, the number of times a, a player is at bat, uh, and uh, divided by the uh, number of times, uh, let's re re reverse that, the, the number of times that a player gets on base divided by the number of times that he bats, OPS is adding the on-base percentage to a player's slugging average, how many total bases he gets uh, in, in his at-bats, how many singles, doubles, triples, and home runs. And uh, so what, what the A's decided was that rather than just focusing on batting average, they would focus on getting players who might not be as valued by other teams, but that the A's would value them because of their uh, ability to get on base. And so the argument, that part of the argument involved in the Moneyball or Sabermetric approach is that the more players get on base, the more likely, the better chance the team's going to have of scoring runs. And the more runs you score, the more uh, games you win. And the, the reason why this was called Moneyball, part of the reason, was because it meant that the Oakland A's were trying to succeed with a much lower payroll than some of the big money teams, like the New York Yankees, like the Boston Red Sox, etc. They had one of the lowest payrolls in the majors around 2002, 2003, when they were first trying this out. So, what we want to do in this project is to take a look at what kind of correlation we might find between a team's on-base percentage and OPS stats over the course of a whole season and their one loss record. And also, we're interested in seeing does a uh, team's payroll level predict how well it's going to do in OBP and OPS stats and more importantly, for the Moneyball thesis, uh, how well, what kind of correlation there is between a team's payroll and its one loss record. So the way we'll do that is by looking at the stats for 2011, the team, uh, all 30 teams, their, uh, their one loss records, their payrolls, and their OBP and OPS stats. And then we'll see, using uh, sort of scatter plots on, in the Minitab software, what kind of correlation there is, what sort of relationship there is between OBP, OPS, payroll, and a team's one loss record for a season. Here are the OBP stats for all of the teams. These are all the American League teams and down below I think are the National League or vice versa. Um, and then this shows the slugging percentage which is found by dividing the um, the total number of bases that a player has in a season into the number of bats he gets. So um, a double counts two, a triple counts three, a home run counts four, etc. And then to get OPS, you simply add together OBP and slugging average, and that gives you the OPS stat. You can probably designate which, which stat you want um, as highest. I mean, generally teams with a higher number of runs are going to be better teams, but it's not always, not always the case. And this is total payroll for each of the teams. And so, for instance, if you go down here, you see that Arizona, which ended up winning the NL West, is way down the list. They're in the bottom 
there's only there's only five teams that had a lower payroll than Arizona did, and yet they won their division. Um, Milwaukee also won their division. They're they're down fairly low. Um, Texas almost won the World Series. Came within two strike uh, 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 two pitches of win or one one strike a couple of times of winning the World Series, and their payroll was only. 55-3, or excuse me, 9-2 was up some this year.